welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I mock the fetch dependency to stub the return value when testing a class method that uses it? Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To mock the fetch dependency in your test, we will use sign-on to create a stub. This allows us to control the behavior of the fetch function during testing. Next, we need to ensure that we are stubbing the correct method of fetch. Since fetch is imported as a default export, we should stub fetch.default. Now let's integrate this stub into your test case. After stubbing fetch, we can call the init method of your class instance and verify that the HTTP client's init method is called with the expected payload. Finally, remember to restore the original fetch method after your test runs to avoid side effects on other tests. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To mock the node fetch dependency in your class method, you can use CNON to stub the fetch function. First, import CNON and node fetch, then create a stub for the default export of fetch. Remember, fetch is the default export from node fetch, so you need to stub the default property specifically. After your test, don't forget to restore the stub. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To mock the node fetch dependency in a class method, you can't directly stub fetch. Instead, use ProxyQuire to stub node fetch from within your module. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The initial approach to mocking node fetch in TypeScript doesn't work due to module isolation. Each import has its own instance, so stubbing one doesn't affect others. However, you can access imported modules in Node.js. To stub node fetch, you can use require.resolve and require.cache to get the module and then stub its exports. Ensure you use the same node fetch module as your tested module. You can use yarn dedupe or create your own node fetch path. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This user found it helpful to keep the functionality of node fetch while mocking responses. They used knock for their mock responses. To implement this, they used ProxyQuire to replace the node fetch dependency with a spy. This allows them to track calls to fetch.
Finally, they check the arguments passed to the fetch spy to ensure it behaves as expected. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.